friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India in this video we are going to see how to manage the nucleus when the rexis is small let us observe the surgical steps this is the main incision and this is a paracentesis on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away This is an air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule with type and blue dye to show capsulorexis very clearly. The dye is injected over the anterior capsule and now the dye is washed out with BSS. And now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected to fill off the anterior chamber and now one more paracentesis is made on the right side of the main incision and now capsulorexis is to be done what I do is I incise the anterior capsule with a bent needle cystitome now I use a uterta forceps hold this capsular tag go anticlockwise all around in this case as you can see the rexis is becoming quite small but it is adequate for fecal multiplication now hydro dissection fluid wave has gone to the opposite equator the nucleus is depressed and the nucleus is rotated. Now some more viscoelastic substance is injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. The tip is introduced with its bevel down. This is a 30 degree bevel tip some superficial cortical lens matter is removed now the tip is turned to make the bevel up and this is direct horizontal chop bury the nucleus and chop it like this rotate the nucleus chop it another place so the nucleus has been divided first into two heminuclei and then each heminucleus has been divided into two pieces. Now each piece is further being subdivided as required. I am in FECO2 mode from the very beginning. FECO power used in this case is 60%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Catrix 3 FECO machine. It's a beautiful machine with beautiful hold. And now this is the management of the nucleus. Now some 2% HPMC is injected and then this cortex is being removed with the help of a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula. See how quickly you can remove the cortex with this Simcoe cannula. We can use bimanual IA or coaxial IA whatever we like for cortical cleanup. With this instrument the side port record is little larger. We can place the side ports about three clock hours away to reduce the astigmatism which is produced by the main incision. This is the final bit of the cortex and now cortical cleanup is complete. 
there are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule and the posterior capsule needs little bit of polishing and this is what I call hydro polish using a jet of fluid a jet of balanced salt solution to dislodge the cells from the posterior capsule see how beautifully the posterior capsule has been polished now 2% SPMC is injected again and now this is where non-aspheric foldable monofocal intraocular lens the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic has also gone into the capsular bag if we can hook the rexus margin with a Sinsky hook it indicates the lens is in the bag And now, the visco that has been used for implantation of the intraocular lens should be removed very nicely. I go behind the eye well and irrigate the capsular bag. Be in the antechamber and irrigate the AC to remove the visco from the AC. And now, the irrigating probe of bimanual IA is used. The bag is again irrigated and finally the irrigation and aspiration is used together. And see the antechamber is shining. There is no visco after thorough cleaning of the anterior chamber. Now after injecting a bit of moxifloxacin the side ports are hydrated and then the final lavage of the anterior chamber is carried out. This is very important to get a quiet anterior chamber next day. The antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. We must check the wounds. There should not be any leakage from any side. We should check the intraocular pressure digitally and then conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon. Serve the mankind with empathy, respect and great surgical skills.